Right, that's recording. As you... Right, this is take two. That's the first one didn't record. Right, I welcome here Christian from a company called Spartan Bearnacle Boxing. Would you like to introduce yourself, Christian? Yeah. Club. Right, thank you. Uh, right, how did you come about getting yourself into uh, bare knuckle boxing? Uh, well, when, when we come back, when we come back with Spartan, um, you know, we had a look at the market, and you know, and I could see there was a lot of companies coming with rings and stuff. So you know, I sat down and I had a bit of a think, you know, and a couple of ideas that come up first was triangle cage, this, that, the other. But I decided to go old school, uh, go away from the, the ring and started it in the now world famous Spartan 8x8 hay bale square. So, you know, that, that's how we become to come on the market with the bare knuckle um, and take a different direction than everyone else, really. Oh, cool. Uh, just to, to clarify, though, but the bare knuckle boxing is probably seen as underground, illegal. Just to clarify, it's not, is it? It's licensed. It's... Well, I'll board. be honest with you, um, the, the first three shows that I had, uh, the police wouldn't license it, okay. so we got private property, We and I must point out to everybody at home, it wasn't the way to go, but we did do it properly, even though the police wouldn't give us the blessing, we got private land that they couldn't stop us from doing it on, we got the big marquees, we got everything, we got top class, top quality medics on board, with uh, Michelle Pleaving and her team and friends. I mean, Michelle does cuts and stuff, but yeah, and wrapping and stuff, but the others, the medics she brings with her, couldn't fault them, top quality. We still got them today. Door staff, every safety precaution that you can think of, we still took out on them three shows. We had no violence, no problems. So we moved a little bit further up the road from Doncaster to Bradford, applied for a license, and we got a license, and this is our third license show coming up in February, which will be Spartan 6. Oh, cool. So, bare knuckle boxing, it's really taking off now as a sport in the UK, isn't it? It is, mate, yeah. So, what differentiates Spartan to any other company that's out there? Just, just watch the fights. Just watch the fights. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I want to start out by saying, first and foremost, anybody who climbs into a ring, a cage, hay bales, whatever you're climbing into, I've got my respect. You're an absolute warrior. You know, yeah. makes me laugh when you see people saying, oh, he's a bum fighter. There's no such thing as a bum fighter. They've got the, the bottle to get in, you know. So first and foremost, I'd say that. What makes us different is the arena, I would, I would suspect that, yeah. you know, you're in an 8x8 square, not a 20 by 20 boxing ring, you know. So pretty much to give you an idea, if you take a step forward, you're right on the guy's chest. If you take a step back, you're touching the bales. If you take a step to the left, you're touching the bales. So basically, we've induced the kind of style of fighting which just, says it all really just bring it just we've got a slogan in the pit that says start fast or start last soon as that soon as that bell goes it's toe for toe um and what makes us different is the style of fighting that we're bringing which is knockout or be knocked out you know there's no points wins there's no draws very rare we get a draw in the pit it has to be right close for the draw otherwise you know it's always it's always going to end one way or the other you know oh cool so if somebody wanted to get involved, the self, how would they? You, you've got a feeder well, company as well, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, you can find us on Facebook, Spartan BK Fight Club, um, first and foremost. If you're looking to have a look into further about what we do, that would be the best place to go. If you're looking to fight, we've just launched a new company to run alongside us, a sister company called Spartan BK New Blood. And that's got to be for just fighters who are looking to have the first fight in the hay bales, to give them a taste and a feel, you know, get a bit of experience. And, you know, and if they're successful on there, they'll be passed up to us. In turn, they, we help this fields with us with, we can have a look at the fighter before we put him on the big show. So we know who we're matching him with, we know his abilities and everything else. But the most important thing is it keeps talent coming in off the street and we can keep giving these people breaks to make a name for themselves in something they love doing, you know. Oh, that's brilliant. I shall point out we've uh, we've just opened an academy uh, in Doncaster, which is called Lewis Clark MMA and Fitness. It's in Edlington, Doncaster. 
uh, anyone local to there, if you go down and walk in, I'm sure Lewis will be happy to speak to you. He's got top quality coaches there. Lewis is an un unbeaten pro MMA fighter. Um, he's just signed with, M signed with MTK Global. So all his coaches and stuff, you know, they're all top class, so they'll be getting the best training possible. Yeah. I'd also like to say there's another gym run by a, a, a BKB legend, to be fair, in Scott Midgley. Thinks he's good looking, he's really not. But he runs that. It's called Hard Knocks Gym in Bradford. Um, yeah. And he's going to be, he's, he's well respected in his town and he's well respected in the sport by, I don't know anybody who doesn't respect Scott in the sport. He's done it all, you know, so... You know, again, you can't get any better training than that. You know, any of my fighters or anybody looking to get involved around Bradford, stroll into Hard Knocks. Scott will, you know, tell you the ups and downs of knuckle boxing. He'll teach you what you need to know and make you ready, fight ready, really. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of growing now. We're opening the sister company and opening training centres around Britain where people can go in, get the adequate training and come in. You know. So, so anybody out there that wants to get involved they can become a professional bare knuckle boxing get paid for it and expose right. yourself to nationwide if not worldwide that's it mate yeah i mean yeah. what it's all about is with the other companies as well i will go on record and say there's only a handful of companies that don't expect you to have been a pro or a big yeah. name or you know we're offering normal guys yeah. like me and you be a chance to walk into a gym get the, the adequate training get in the pit who knows? You could be the next big star. You yeah. could get in, get a, a right good slapping and not like it. But yeah, listen, well, that's you've, it. Tried it. you've tried it, you've had the training, it gives you some focus. It, I think most of the people that come and fight for Spartan have got demons and they want to squash them demons or they, they all yeah. have a different reason to fight. But, you know, the basics here are we, we don't expect you to have been a pro. We don't expect you to have top flight sponsors behind you and everything. Just come in and be a normal Joe off the street and just have your training, have your pagger and Let's see how yeah. we get on with it. No. The potential life-changing opportunity, really, that is, isn't it? Of course it is, mate. I mean, you know, with anything, there's risks crossing the road, you know. So, you, you know, to come in and try something that's a bit different, you know, it, it's an acquired taste, I can assure. But, you know, you, you're always looking to uncover that next star. And for oh, me, it's yeah. about, you know, I've had lads come in and their lives have been rock bottom. To be fair, they've had nothing in their lives and now they've got a focus in life. They're getting up, going to the gym every morning. You know, they, they, they've got a schedule they follow. They've got their life in order and it gives them something to shoot for, you know. And as long as we can keep doing that, I'm really happy with it, you know. Oh, cool. So what, what's your plans going forward for the future for Spartan? Well, just as we, you know, like I kind of touched on before how we started the company. The company was kind of started because I was sick of looking at the news and seeing knife crime and other yeah, stuff. Yeah. So. We've kind of brought a peace treaty out now that says, you know, if you've got beef with someone in your town and communications are broke down, you're going to reach for a weapon or break the law, get in touch, get on to us. We'll put you in a controlled environment after your training. You both stand up, you have a good scrap in the pit, you shake hands, you go and have a pint, it's forgotten and left in the pit. You know, and if we can stop one parent burying the child premature, that's a good thing, though. That's brilliant. You know, so we, we're kind of running on that. And from that, it's come to where lads have just seen the arena and thought, listen, this is the place to prove yourself. You know, not a 20-foot boxing ring with no gloves. Get in an ABA a bales and, you know, it, it's, the, it's the toughest guy wins, you know. And, yeah, I just think the plans going forward are at the moment, we're having all our shows outdoor in marquees because we use hay bales and they're a fire risk for indoors. Yeah. So we've got a guy in Sweden. He's looking at designing us a rubber pit to take it indoors. That's where we're heading for the future. And I just believe once we get indoor arenas and we've got the rubber pit up and we're putting these fights on, I just believe it's going to get bigger and bigger because the style of fighting speaks for itself. Oh, without a doubt. Let's say, you refer it back to like the Gladiator, it's got that feel to it. It has, mate. And that's why we called it Spartan, you know, because the guys are getting that pit, mate. You know, it, it takes bottle to get in any arena. But, you know, these guys are standing out in the crowd watching 10, 12 fights before them and watching them end badly, you know, and still yeah, excited. Yeah. To get in. So it, you've got my respect, mate. I'll tell you now, it's the toughest game in the world. Fighting that. Oh. So this video, it's going to go out on YouTube, shared across every, our groups. So people who are not from the UK, if they want to watch, is there an opportunity for them to watch the fighting in the future? Yeah, of course. If you just hit us up on Spartan BK Fight Club on Facebook. Yeah. Um, You'll be accepted into the group and pinned at the top of the group as it, this show is going to be our first actual pay-per-view show. Pay-per-view. 
So what we're doing is, uh, if you order before the 15th of Feb, when the show's on, it's £10. And that's 20 bare knuckle fights for £10. That's, cheap, that that's good. That's good value for money, that. Um, if we get enough good response, we won't change the price. Um, it, if you get it on the day, there's a kind of thing built in that it's going to be £15 on the day, but we're urging everyone to book early, get it for £10, sit down, watch the fights, judge for yourself. But I'm telling you now, this is the most exciting format that you yeah. can right now. Mate, it sounds brilliant. The, the opportunity there. So, uh, so when is your next event? Tell us where, when and where event. about it is. Yeah, my next event is going to be in Bradford, uh, in Yorkshire. Uh, it's at a place called Six Acres in Bradford. Uh, the address is never finished, uh, all over the internet at the moment. Everyone's talking about it, so you'll no doubt you'll have uh, trouble finding it. Um, and yeah, we'll be looking to move it around the country after this one. Um, oh, cool. This one's definitely, again, going to be in Bradford, 15th of Feb. Uh, doors open at 2 p.m., first fight at 3 p.m. Um, we've got VIP, they're sold out now, they're gone. Uh, silver seated, they're gone. All we've got left now is standing tickets only. Um, so it's it's close to a sell out. Don't be filled because we put big screens up in case your view isn't that good. You've still got the big screen to watch what's going on in the pit. So we cater for everyone. Um, and we're really excited about it. So yeah, look us up on Facebook, click on the link, nine, uh, 10 pounds view. You won't look back, trust me. That's it. So in closing then, uh, what do you want to tell, tell us about your social media links again, in case anybody's missed it? Um, social media is Christian Roberts on Facebook, or you can find the, the group Spartan BK Fight Club on Facebook. Uh, it'll ask you a couple of questions, um, then you're in the group. And then you'll find all the relevant information you need. We're on Instagram, Twitter, all, all the big ones. Uh, we're on them all. Um, so, yeah, we're not hard to find. Uh, we're a very big talking point at the moment. Yeah. So. I'll put all your links in the, in the, the description of the, the video anyway. So. Good stuff. Can I do a few shout outs for Yeah, me? yeah. Go for it, mate. Go. Like a shout out to my sponsors Governor Sports and Nutrition is one. Yes. Uh, Craig Blade and Roofing, uh, Ecosystems, uh, Jason West. Uh, jo J Josh West, uh, Fish, Shellfish, too many to mention. We've got loads. Dean Cameron Photography, we've got loads. Uh, and I'd like to give the biggest shout out of all to me fighters because I'm telling you, when you see this style of fighting, big every one of them up because absolutely every one of them are gladiators. Oh, brilliant. Thank you for your time anyway, Christian. Appreciate it, mate. Amazing to talk to you. So I'll see you soon, mate. See you later, pal. See you later. Bye-bye.